Choosing a color space in addition to a color mode when working in Photoshop is essentially important for color management. Choosing a color space limits the colors you're able to work with to the colors you will be outputting, so you choose your color space and your color mode carefully. This should be done before starting any editing. For example, it is not enough to set RGB as your color mode. You should, specif you should specify which RGB color space you would like to work in. Is that RGB or Adobe RGB or sRGB? We will mention here again, you should have your color settings set to North American Pre-Press 2. This will set your working RGB color space to Adobe RGB 1998, which if you remember back a few slides, has a larger uh, color gamut than sRGB, and the CMYK color space to US Web Swap SWOP. Every file you submit through the semester should use these color spaces unless otherwise noted. You can see a more detailed view of the color settings here. If you need a review on how to set your color space, please review lesson number two. Lesson yeah. one and lesson two. It is important for, you, for your color space settings to be consistent throughout your workflow. It's very common to start a design in Illustrator, work on part of it in Photoshop, and then compile it all together in InDesign. Settings can be synchronized individually in each program or all at once through Adobe Bridge. And I, just to interject here, I recommend doing it through Bridge just so you don't have to do it three or four times. It's a good way to do it. So um, here are the steps. So from Photoshop, choose File, Browse, and Bridge, or just open Bridge. Then from Bridge, choose Edit, Color Settings. From the Color Settings dialog box, choose the correct settings and select Apply to sync across Adobe Creative Cloud applications. Here you can see how that's done in a closer view. Um, also, uh, as a photographer, these should all be consistent too. Believe it or not, you can choose your color mode in your camera. As a default, it is set to sRGB. I always advise to change that to Adobe RGB, and you can do that in your camera's menu. Look for the color space or color mode, and that, you know, whatever it's called is going to depend on what brand of camera you have, either Nikon or Canon. Or Olympus, like I have, but I think the photography teachers cringe if I say that out loud. Oh. <laughs> Heavens no. <laughs> the last step we would recommend including as part of your default color management process is assigning a document color profile. Files can have their own settings that don't necessarily match all the other settings that you've just set in the previous steps. Assigning a document a color profile ensures Photoshop will just Photoshop your display, your printer, and now your file are all working toward the same color goals. The steps that you'll use to assign a document color profile are open a new file or an image. If, it, if a prompt appears, it's basically telling you that the setting for the file does not match the settings for your software application, and you can make a decision. If a prompt does not appear or, um, or you want to adjust your setting without the prompt appearing, you can always cho choose the edit menu and then assign profile. The assign profile dialog box will appear. There will be three choices. You can choose do not manage the color, use the existing Photoshop color space, and then the third option will be a drop down for you to choose something different, a different color management option. In general, you will choose the second option since it will match all of your previous choices so that all of your steps along your editing process are synced up. You can see here what the prompt looks like if you were to open an image and your color space does not match or your color profile does not match the software. And so you can choose the second option to convert the document colors to the current working space that you chose for when you're working in Photoshop. And here are the details on how you would get to that dialog box if it doesn't appear when you open the image. You can go to the edit menu and choose assign profile. And then you can say do not manage the color. You can choose um, the working RGB, which in this case is Adobe RGB 1998 because that's what we set, or you can choose a third option, which is a drop down of all of the other profiles that you may want to choose. And so again, um, I will emphasize that we would like you to work in Adobe RGB 1998 for ART 1280.